Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I am glad you are here. If you get the chance and you're so inclined, please hit that subscribe button below um, and hit the bell notification icon. It'll notify YouTube that you're interested in the content and it'll also notify you when I release updated videos, go live, make community posts, kind of get my feet wet with this whole review thing overview thing. So today what I wanted to talk about is a little knife that I picked up about a month ago and I've been carrying it and it is, I always thought it was, to be honest with you, the Ace Grand Giant Mouse Mini, but it's the Giant Mouse Ace Atelier or Atelier. You'll see how it's spelled in the description down there, but I think it's pronounced Atelier. Um, but to me, it is a very medium size, maybe medium, great feeling pocket knife. Um, I'm a big fan of Giant Mouse. I know there's a lot of mixed reviews out there in the community about Italian made knives and Italian heat treats, blah, blah, blah. And I get it. I hear it. I, I'm very aware of it. All I can do is share with you guys kind of my experiences what I think about knives that I've kind of put through the paces of what I think 99, maybe 89% of us do. You know, maybe it's not 99, maybe it is only 89% of us. The way we carry our knives and use our knives to open packages, to break down cardboard, to fidget with, to have on us whether we need to cut cord, cut whatever. You know, they're just EDC knives. And I think of this when I talk about my experience as someone who their EDC game takes place kind of in more of an urban environment, right? So this little knife, or medium-sized knife, in my hand, my dirty hand, it's been sharpening, I apologize, uh, I can get a full four-finger grip on this micarta handle. This knife's also available in titanium. I can also choke up. I've got a nice finger choil there, the sharpening choil that makes for a very nice finger choil. Got a very nice, sharp, Voxnez or giant mouse jimping that we've all become used to and you've got this nice swedge in the blade which for me is just a natural place for my thumb to go in either grip so I don't feel like I'm going to slip up on that blade because I've got really positive traction right there behind the blade. So the sharpening choil on this when I look at it it's done pretty well you know it's not a home run but it's not a fail. One of the things that I talk about in flipper knives, but this is a flicker only deployment knife. So it's a thumb flipper, it's a slow roller, or it's a middle finger flicker. But one of the things I really like about the way that these are done is I'm a big fan of these pear shaped deployment holes because what it does for me is it gives me a very positive place to put my finger where I'm not gonna get any of that hot dog down the hallway sensation where your finger goes through the uh, the deployment hole and you get kind of a wonky flick. So this particular variation is in micarta. They do make this in a titanium. Um, hindsight being 2020, if I do have any regrets about this knife, it would be not getting the titanium. However, I kind of got it to replace the memory of another knife I had and to match some of my other giant mouses. But anyway, we'll get to that story later. This is the same green micarta as my uh, Jutland, which we'll be doing a review on, and on my little um, Dapper, which I think we did a review on already. But this is, again, the Ace Giant Mouse Atelier. So it is Elmax Blade Steel, which is what really drew me to this knife. The first grand I had was Micarta and Elmax in the same colorway. And I really like that knife. Um, in a dip like I do with so many others, trading that knife off for a Kaiser, or not, excuse me, that was a Freudian slip, a Concept Bulldozer in Titanium and Moku Tai from my brother from another mother, Dark Gravity. We swap out knives quite a bit. <clears throat> He's made some knives available to me that wouldn't have been made available to me before, and you guys have seen him on the live stream, just a fine human being. But in either case, that's another reason I wanted this colorway instead of the titanium. Again, it's kind of reminiscent of that other knife. But what I can tell you about this knife is I have not put any stone to it. I've not stropped it. I have used it. 
Let's get you some. I'm trying to get some paper, guys. Give me just one second. I'm hunting my Pew Pew Digest. There it is. One of the things I was really impressed with about this knife and other giant mouses that I've gotten from the factory, including the uh, the Biblio, which has got, when I was in the community, was getting a lot of hate. I still have my Biblio. We'll do a quick size comparison of that when we get into size comparisons. But I've been very impressed by the grinds and the sharpness of my knives that have come from Giant Mouse. Um, I hear a lot about really bad heat treats. Again, this is LMAX. This is not M390. Um, my Biblio sharpens up great, holds an edge for what I use it for very well. And I don't know what the hardness is on it, but it's sufficient for me. You know, I've been pleased with it. I've, I, I've enjoyed it. So I'm kind of a giant mouse uh, believer. I've had nothing but good experiences, but I only owe, own a handful, right? So let's do a couple of quick size comparisons and see how this guy falls on the size spectrum. And then we'll get some measurements. So that is the Cold Steel 4 Max next to the Giant Mouse Ace Atelier. And this is kind of a, that looks like a kind of a nice color match there, guys. Wasn't planning that, but this is the Civivi Baby Banter. So the Civivi Baby Banter is going to be smaller than the Atelier, and the Atelier, of course, is going to be smaller than the 4 Max, as is almost everything. But we did see a knife the other day, last week, that was bigger than the 4 Max. Let's look at this next to a Benchmade Bug Out, which I have a feeling that these are going to be pretty closely sized, and they are. The Bug Out is just a little bit larger, which means the Paramilitary 2 will be a good deal larger than the giant mass ace atelier but what i wanted to do before i get the ruler out was put this knife up against the giant mouse grand and see when i look at these knives and i don't think there's any denying that this is a perfect mini version of the grand so you know it's smaller but every single line on it, that's a Vandis blade on that top one. I don't think we reviewed it yet, but we will. And then let's see how the Ace Biblio. So this is about the same size as an Ace Biblio. Whoops, that was a box. Sorry, guys. That was the, so the Ace Biblio and the, uh, look at the edge on that. Not that I should be diverting whoops I just saw it shining from down there let's makes me want to cut more paper but I'm not going to do it because we're not talking about the biblio but this has been a great knife guys I love this knife um do a review on it too long-term thoughts as we get into the giant mouse collection but the ace atelier it's a knife that really gives me kind of the they got it right thoughts so just so you know, and it'll be in the description too. The blade's right at three inches. The handle's right at four inches. So it's a seven inch overall knife. Um, it's going to be probably, I'm guessing, right under a half inch thick on the handle. The blade stock is probably going to be 0.14. Got a really nice swedge here on this clip point blade. Again, really positive jimping. Uh, nice sharpening choil. Again, a great pear shaped hole that I really like for deployment. Um, minimal branding. It does say Ace, um, does say L Max. Has a little giant mouse logo. Nice titanium backspacer with a little hole for your lanyard or your doodad. If I had to give this knife any criticism, it would be that you've got a T8 pivot, but you've got these little T6. Um, they're deep, but you know I think we can all say that it's time to move past T6 body hardware. T8s, I heard Jared Nee say it better, but just very simply, you know, one one bit, one one type of hardware. What's the big deal of swapping that out? Um, 
it just doesn't make sense. Sixes are so much more fragile than eights, and that's the only thing I would say is that sucks. But, you know, I don't plan to be taking it apart a lot, and luckily, so far, I've not stripped out any screws, but I'm sure I just jinxed myself, and that'll give it the kiss of death. But um, I'll probably strip something out here tonight when I'm changing a clip or something. But anyways, I deserve it. But guys, this is the Giant Mouse Ace Atelier, or as I will refer to it as affectionately as the Giant Mouse Grand Mini, Baby Grand, however you want to kind of approach that. But I really enjoy the knife. I've been very pleased with it. Um, I can highly recommend it to anybody who is interested in a little bit smaller than bug out, nice carry in the pocket. This knife carries very easily in the pocket. I'm a big fan of wire clips. Some people don't like them. And the great news about that is if you don't like it, because it does go in and out of pocket effortlessly, if you don't like the wire clip, it does switch out readily with the Lynch clip, Spyderco wire replacement clips. So you can have a, you know, a nice clip on there that looks just like that clip, right? So you've got options instead of obligations there. So guys, I appreciate you watching the video. I appreciate any time that you come by the channel. Your support is just so humbling to me. And I do invite you to subscribe if you like, you know, EDC content, if you like pocket knives, folders, that, you know, fixed blades, stuff that you carry around in an urban environment just to make your life a little easier and to do what we all like to do, right? Kind of cut stuff with knives, kind of silly, but we, we do it as a hobby. And if you're like me, you have so many coming into your life. So I like to at least be able to catalog it on the channel. That way, you know, I can share kind of what I've bought based on different impulses to what I think about it after I've had it for a while. And hopefully it'll help somebody make good decisions or not make the same decisions I did if they you know, if they don't like it. Just because I like the knife doesn't mean somebody else is going to not dislike the knife. But for me, it's just a mad win. So if you would, again, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Feel free to comment. Feel free not to comment. Feel free not to subscribe. But please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Um, go forward with love in your heart, guys. Choose debate before reckless hate. I love you all. Peace.